Hello and welcome back to JP's World of Wrestling. I am your man JP and today we continue on with Mattel Retros. Now last time I talked about the Iron Sheik. Now this time I'm going to talk about the Iron Sheik's tag team partner, Nikolai Volkov. Nikolai Volkov, who has passed away in recent years, but this guy is such an iconic guy from the mid 80s I mean, he was on the hulk hogan rock and wrestling cartoon like i said he was a tag they brought him in as like this communist russian even though he was really from lithuania but <clears throat> when he came in to the wwf he didn't want to portray a russian like a russian communist because he hated communism he left lithuania to come to the united states to escape communism um, so classy Freddie Blassie convinced him, no, don't you see, by portraying a communist, you can actually help in fighting against communism and allowing people to see the evils of communism. So he agreed and he, he, he became Nikolai Volkov. And together with the Iron Sheik, they became a tag team managed by classy Freddie Blassie. And they actually won the tag team titles at the first WrestleMania. And so then, <clears throat> Clash of Freddie Blassie left the WWF, and then they were managed by Slick. And they actually wrestled again at WrestleMania 3, where they wrestled the Killer Bees. And they actually got a disqualification victory over the Killer Bees, thanks to Hacksaw Jim Duggan hitting the Iron Sheik with a 2 by 4 Anyway. So the Iron Sheik went on to tag up with Boris Zukov as the Bolsheviks. And, you know, they were kind of a mediocre team. You know, they had a match at WrestleMania, I think it was WrestleMania 6, where the Hart Foundation just beat them, like, quickly. Just, just annihilated them. So then Boris Zukov left, and then Nikolai Volkov, started tagging up with Hacksaw Jim Duggan. He would say, oh, I, I hate communism. I am part of the United States now. I'm a U.S. citizen, so I want to be friends with America. So he tagged up with Hacksaw Jim Duggan for a while, and you know, they became a tag team. Then Nikolai Volkov left, and then he came back as, actually, the Million Dollar Man brought Nikolai Volkov back as part of the Million Dollar Corporation. Because I remember the night he joined the Million Dollar Corporation. Million Dollar Man kind of berated him, saying, oh, you're poor, and, you know, you hate me, don't you? You want to knock my nose in, don't you, Nikolai? So Nikolai's like, oh, yes, I hate you, DBLC. But Million Dollar Man gave him a T-shirt that resembled the Million Dollar Man tuxedo, but instead of a dollar sign, had a cent sign on the lapel. So Nikolai joined the Million Dollar Corporation for a while, but then he left WWF. And then he finally joined, or he finally, yeah, he joined the ranks of the Hall of Fame. He was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame, joining a lot of his peers from the mid-80s. So, in fact, I think on the same night, his tag team partner, Nikolai Volkov, was inducted. But yeah, I think he actually got involved with like his local politics in his hometown here in America. And, you know, he was a proud American. He was a proud American citizen and he was very patriotic. So now the only thing, I, this is a really good figure. I like the figure. I like the pose. The hat does not come off, but that, I mean, that's fine. The only thing I don't like about it is that. This action kick move is a little bit too sensitive. Like when you're trying to use them, it will come up like that. So the trigger mechanism on that is a little bit too sensitive. But other than that, it's a perfectly fine figure. I enjoy it. Now this figure was part of Retro Wave 2. And it came in a set with Jimmy Hart and the Hart Foundation. So... But, yeah, perfectly fine figure. Here they are as a tag team. 
So that's Nikolai Volkov. Now, if you're new here, you can go ahead and like and subscribe and share. And I'll see you next time.